Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The intensity is always ratcheted up for a conference game. We expect a good one in this Sun Belt tilt. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. In Tallahassee, Florida, at Dope Campbell Stadium, these fans are anxiously awaiting the start of this one. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Join us at your return. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. At the 30. The 50. He finally goes down at the 42-yard line. You got to love opening the game with a solid kick return like this. So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. With the pass incomplete. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. Second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 42. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop right around the 30. And he has a huge game. And yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. The Seminoles always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. From the 33-yard line, second down. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Gets it. He's in space. He steps out right around the 22-yard line. They'll line it up for the field goal. Florida State could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the three. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. The Bulls have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. When you have that kind of leadership, you've got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. The defense needs to be careful. The safety might have made that play, but if he keeps coming up on the run, he'll be spaced downfield for the pass. So it's second and 12. Ball on their own 28. Give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. He 
He heaves it deep. And he's got it. And they finally knock him out at the 31. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with his own, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Four down, four down. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Ready. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. They try to get a head start there. False start, offense. Just a middle lapse, but it's going to cost them five yards. Still second down. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he hits him hard at the 22. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Flipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. run up the gut. Shaw picks up about four yards on the play. That brings up third and 12. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Brought down at about the 29-yard line. Welch picks up about four yards with a catch. Stop short. The defense holds and the ball will change hands. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Florida State is up a field goal. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at the 32. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And down he goes at the 39-yard line. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. He has such a quick first step. Once he made that initial move to the inside on the slant, he already had the space he needed for the first down. Slings it, and he's taken down at the 43. Spencer with the tackle at the 43-yard line. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 43. Where's 52? Watch 52. Set. Blue 19. Blue 19. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Slides down to the ground. They'll spread the field with five wide. Scrambling around. He gets sacked on the play. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Second and 15.
from their own 49-yard line. Second down. Florida State is up by three. Nice run up the middle. Makes the tackle. Gain of six on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike 52, Mike 52. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Hey. Yeah. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. Wilder, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Beatty to punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Seminoles really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Tackle made at about the 23-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. And he's tackled around the 23-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it third and seven. catch there before he stepped out of bounds that was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down so they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not so the referee initially calls it a catch but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in and that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not to review the play the ruling on the field stands so the call on the field stands They're packed in tight on the two line. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Ten. Oh, got to five. Five, motion, motion, motion. five. Five. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. From their own 33-yard line, second down. hit immediately. awaiting the punt. Got to wonder right now which offense is going to open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up because right now not only are they losing the battle up front but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Florida State has a three-point lead. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. From the 49-yard line, first down. Tackle around the 39-yard line. 
Loss of four on the play. That makes it second and 14. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. My 52. So at the end of one, the Seminoles in front, 3-0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Four down, four down. Hey, Mike 52. Mike 52. Set. Ten Boston. Cut. He's at the 30. He's tackled at the 26. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. That'll make it third and one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Holds a field goal lead. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And this play is number eight on the drive. They'll bring him down right around the 10-yard line. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That brings up second and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Well, let's see what they do here. It's third and goal from the six. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Set. Okay. He fights forward to about the seven. No gain on the play. That brings up fourth and goal. It's up, and he's got it. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Wait till you see the action in Athens. We've got a tight one going on here. The Blue Raiders are on top, 20 to 14. Well, you can never look ahead a week, but that would be a pretty big upset if that score holds. Aguayo has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Davis fields it at the two, makes it to the 22-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Mike seven. Mike seven. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Quick pass, and they make the stop at the 34. Thomas on the tackle at the 34-yard line. First down. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Seven to Mike. Here we go. He goes out of bounds at the 37. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. Mike, Mike seven. Three, 19, three, 19. 
Quick throw, incomplete. Wanted his receiver. Number one was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it 37. Complete. He's got room. He's pushed out of bounds at the 40. Gain of 23 on the play. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. Three down, three down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Run, 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 run. He gains a couple of yards on a carry. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. A little toss across the middle. Brought down around the 24-yard line. Williams makes the tackle at the 24-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Here's the eighth play of the series. He fights forward to about the 23. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. From the 23 yard line. Second down. Three down, three down. Mike seven. Mike seven. Three, 19. And he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of seven yards. Tenth play of the drive. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 22-yard line. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks away. And that's just a bit of bad luck there for the junior kicker. So we'll change possession with a score, 6-0, FSU. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Florida State with a six-point lead. And he tackles him hard at the 32-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 32. Makes it to the 41. Gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Hey, Mike 52. Mike 52. He's into the open field. Tackled after a decent pickup. From their own 46 yard line. First down. Gets to about the 47 yard line. He keeps it and picks up maybe a yard. That makes it second and 10. Gets it. He's in space. He's at the 40. And they push him out around the 28 yard line. That's 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Gain of one yard. That makes it second and eight. Florida State up six. Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. Here we go again. He's going to try and scramble. Dives and he's down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They come out on an empty backfield. He fights forward to about the 10. So the designed quarterback run goes for about three yards on the play. That's the senior safety that made that tackle. Great job of providing run support from the secondary. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 10-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. Call it a gain of seven yards. Third down. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Oklahoma, He's scrambling. And down he goes at the two. The Seminoles are going to call their second timeout. It's first down, and they'll bring it up first and goal inside the five. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. They're going to pitch it. Touchdown, FSU! Back just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. Trying to win the battle in the trenches, and the offense did that time. And he adds the extra point. It was an 11-play, 77-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. It's fielded at the two. Brought down at the 23. They missed a chance at three points on their last drive. Anytime you have a shot at putting points on the board and you don't get it, you get a little frustrated. But this offense is very capable of scoring at any time. He's taken down right around the 28-yard line. South Florida just took their first time out. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 28. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Under heavy pressure. Just throws this one away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And a man wide open, and he missed it. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Oh, man, they've got to be frustrated. Game. I'm sure they were ready to get off the field, and now they've just handed the offense a whole new set of downs. From their own 43-yard line. First down. Three down, three down. <laughs> And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. The middle linebacker came on a blitz, which can be very disruptive. Sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming. But not this guy. He's very composed and can deliver under a pass rush. From the 45-yard line. It's second down. Going deep, lays it up there. Fires in there, got it, touchdown. That'll push him over the 100-yard mark in receiving. This guy's capable of doing this game in and game out. He's that good. And we're still in the first half, so there's a lot of time left for this kid to build on those statistics. Oh 
He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice five-play, 76-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. Fielded at the four. They'll bring him down at the 35. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Tackle made the 37-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Florida State is up by six. Now he's scrambling. Tackle at the 38. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll bring up 36. Set, Ruin, ruin. Motion, motion, motion. Fires out to his receiver, and he's taken down right around the 48-yard line. Complete. Benjamin, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 48-yard line, second down. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. He sails it long. Missed him. We've got a great game here, folks, as we reach the end of the first half. Florida State's lead is six. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, Dave Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. Yeah. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's, the, that's the conundrum you get in. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect and you want to get them to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 25-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. the 20. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. Second and long. Ball on their own 20. Strike to his receiver. No good. Here they come. 
And he's sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. So no luck on that drive as they go three and out. Fourth and long here after the sack. Green is the deep man awaiting the return. Boom around the corner. Green fields it to 48. He's knocked out of bounds. It's right around the 34. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Florida State with a six-point lead. out to his wideout, and he's tackled around the 22-yard line. Wide receiver's role in a play-action pass is to get into position and to hit his spot in timing and rhythm with the quarterback. And that's exactly what they were able to do on this last play. You realize you've got a little bit more time because of the play-action, and it gives you more time to get to that point that the quarterback's looking for you to be at, but make sure you do a good job of selling your route and getting in position to give an open target for the quarterback. From the 24-yard line, second down. Gains his way to the 13-yard line. He's on the run. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. First and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. Incomplete pass. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Holding offense. That penalty drives them back, Still and they're shooting down. themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Cut. Cut. Pressure coming. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you could force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. It's second and goal. Ball on the 13-yard line. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of six on the play. That makes it third and goal. Florida State up six. Passes and it's almost picked off. Green is the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. It's up and it's through the uprights. Wild has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He lets it fly. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. He gets rid of this one.
quick strike to the back. No good. Green is back deep to return. Green fields it at the 40. Gets to about the 47-yard line. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. He's got an opening. He's out of bounds at about the 35. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35. He fights forward to about the 33. That brings up second and nine. three yards to pick up the first down. And they make the stop at the 25. Gain of three on the play. Fourth down. Kicks away. And it's good. good. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Hawkeyes will rank 22nd. Now they'll be lucky to hold on to a spot, any spot, in the poll. And for Northwestern, their winning streak reaches five. Northwestern gets the W, 27-24. All right, thanks, Reese. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 21-yard line. The Seminoles continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. There's a strike complete. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They come out in a goal line set. So the halfback gets some decent yards and a first down. And that shows you why he's such a weapon as a ball carrier. Good game for the offense. Check, tight right, tight right, tight right. Go out there, check the outs out there. Go down, go down. Mike seven. Let's go. Fires it out. He gets hit out of bounds at the 41. That's a gain of five on the play. From their own 41 yard line. Second down. He wants it all going long through his hands. Number one was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third and five. Tight right, tight right. Going down, going down. Seven's a mic. Ready to check, 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 check. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. Makes the tackle at the 48-yard line. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. He makes it out to midfield. Down after 
a nice run up the middle. Shaw picks up five with the carry. Third down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Three down, three down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Come on. They'll bring him down right around the 32-yard line. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32. They line up in the jumbo set. Nice run up the middle. Pierre gets seven yards on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Tenth play of the drive. Down he goes, around the 25-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. They've been two for two on third downs on this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Caught, and he steps out of bounds. That's good for a gain of five yards. First down. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Four down, four down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Ready. Brought down at the 23. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. There really is nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. From the 23-yard line, it's second down. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Here's play number 14 of this drive. Under pressure. He gets sacked on the play. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page. And they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. He gets it up, and it's wide right. No good. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, FSU leads it 19-7. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Roger, Roger. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Watch the screen. Man, do they need that stop. They had to get it back, give it to their offense. They've got the opportunity. That's all they could ask for. Beatty is waiting for the snap. Taken down at the 43-yard line. Florida State's defense, they've got the it factor. The it factor, the swagger, whatever you want to call it. When they take the field, they know they're better than you. And it's a group of 11. They play like they know they're going to stop you. The kicker missed a field goal on the last drive, so the offense is out here trying to turn it around on this one. Yep. 
It was a rough go around for this kicker the last time. But this guy won't hang his head. If he has another opportunity to kick one, he'll be ready to go. Second and nine. Ball on the 44-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. Fumble! Loose ball! So that sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. it all going deep oh boy almost intercepted Montgomery the intended receiver on the play fourth down green back deep to return fielded at the 19 he's taken down at the 30 Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Pressured and brought down. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 25-yard line. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That brings up third and 12. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he's hit immediately. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Oh, man, they've got to be frustrated. Game. I'm sure they were ready to get off the field, and now they've just handed the offense a whole new set of downs. From the 47-yard line. First down. Where's the Blue 19. Blue 19. Nice run, and he's brought down. Winston comes away with around five yards on that option keeper. Brings up second and five. Quick throw out to the receiver, and he's tackled at the 32. From the 32-yard line, first down. Nice run there. Wilder gets six yards on the play. Six yards. That'll make it second and four. Carries the ball for a nice game. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. That'll make it third and one. And here's another third down. Might have been some early movement up front. Ball start, offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third, third down. down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your Mike, blood Mike boil Mike if you're a coach. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Down! Watch the slant. Watch Oklahoma! Hey, motion backfield, motion backfield. Cut. And he 
he's taken down at the 26. Well, that's one of those plays where the wide receiver is expected to make something happen after the reception, but the defense wasn't giving up anything. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is up. No good. He pushed it to the right. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Bulldogs came into today's game ranked number one in the country. Boy, are their critics going to have a field day after this performance. An old coach once said, if you don't think every game's important, just try losing one. Apparently, this team believed it. They tried, and they lost. A major upset is now in the book. The Blue Raiders are victorious, 23-21. In another game, a tussle going on in Tucson. And for Arizona, they've now won three in a row. And for Carey, a great day, running for more than 150 yards. The Wildcats take it by three. Thanks, Reese. 19 to seven, our game here. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. Makes it to the 37. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. That makes it first and 10. From their own 37 yard line, it's first down. He goes downtown. Missed him. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. We've got third and ten. Ball on their own 37. Let's it fly. Oh, what an interception. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. From the 37 yard line. First down. 35, 35, watch 35. Tackle at the 37 yard line. No game. That makes it second and 10. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And they make the stop at the 30-yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. You know, Brad, on these third downs where it's third and medium, it gives the play caller a chance to run the football or to throw the football. And in this case, I didn't really think the defense was sitting back thinking about more of the pass game. And it opened up some running lanes, and the offense was able to take advantage of that and convert for a first down. From the 13-yard line, first down. Just under three to go in regulation. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start, offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out Still there, it's down. bound to happen occasionally. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. No, no, no. Check that. Check that. We're Mike 52 right here. Down. 10, 20. Hey. Up, 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 up. And they got him for a loss. Well, he's known for locking down receivers, but that doesn't mean he won't come up and lay the lumber on the ball carrier. Second and long. Ball on the 21. Set. Oklahoma! They'll run it. And he 
he stopped behind the line. The Bulls will use their first time out of the half. Here's the eighth play of the series. And they'll bring him down behind the line. South Florida will take their second time out of the half. That makes it fourth and long. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. It's up. Looks long enough. And he got it. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's check in on what's going on in Laramie. And for Arizona State, they're playing great football right now. The Sun Devils have the edge 7 0. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Looks like they're ready for the kick. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Now you're getting into pretty desperate time. You've got to be going for the end zone and just hope you can recover the onside kick. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Spikes the ball. From their own 16-yard line. Third down. He heaves it deep. He's got it! And down he goes, right around the 40. The offense caught him flat-footed to convert that third and long. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. Here we go! Win 18! Win 18! Motion, 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 motion! Deep pass to the end zone! And it's picked off! And it's the defense that delivers a knockout punch with that interception. From their own 20-yard line, it's first down. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. The Bulls using their third and final timeout. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line. First down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. in our final score, Florida State 22, South Florida 7. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.